it's Holly with Ivy Co Creations and today I'm working on a coast to coast collaboration layout and I had fun with this one. I pulled out my Sugar Rush uh, collection that I have by Vicki Booten and I have not touched this. So this, this is the first page out of this paper pack and I love the colors. This, this was a fun one to make. So I decided that since my um, amount of photos were so many, I think there's 12 pictures, um, I cut them all down to two and a half by two and a half um, because these are all photos of my kids. Well, mostly my daughter because this is going in her album. Um, these are all pictures of her and her brother uh, building pillow forts. Or building blanket forts or pillow towers and climbing them. Um, we did a lot of that in 2020 and we're still doing a lot of that. And then I just plopped these uh, photos all down on this piece of paper that I had uh, laying around. It actually wasn't cut to a specific size. Um, it just happened to fit all of them. So uh, I'm really... I'm really ecstatic with how many photos I got on this layout. I think I got a, a nine, ten photos, ten photos on this one. So I'm uh, super happy about that. And yeah, I just laid them all down in some sort of order. She had to come over, of course, and decide which ones went where and which ones she wanted to put on her layout um, because, you know, it is about her, so I figured she could have a go at um, deciding which pictures went on the layout. Now, I eventually got these all down, and she just wanted to hang out with me and help me. So I pulled out these little tags. They were from the cut apart, and she tried to punch the holes, but the, um, the hole punch, she couldn't squeeze it hard enough. So, um, I ended up doing it for her, but she told me what color to make the twine and which way to put the picture on. And, uh, she wanted that palm tree card on her page. Um, so that's why that's on there. <laughs> and I tried to make this a uh, little cluster so that I could, uh, like make a space for this one photo that I really loved of her face um, and I wanted to kind of not cut it down because I I wanted to show the height that um, that is happening with these pillows because uh, she's actually like in a wing back chair and um, she's sitting on the very top of the back of the chair that's how that's how many pillows are on that um, on that chair so for the coast to coast collaboration, we had to, we had to use a season, uh, winter, spring, summer, fall, an acronym, a complementary color, and then a specialty tool or something. So what I did was I used these super vibrant colors and it gives you the essence of summer, the paper. And, um, I used the acronym OMG, like, oh my God. And then the complementary colors. It's funny. I pulled this paper and then I realized that there were complementary colors all over it. So blue and orange are complementary and the fuchsia and the lime green are complementary to each other. So, um, what I did was I used my, uh, distress inks to ink up my stamps, which is, you know, my, my tool um, to uh, create this title that says OMG Pillow Forts. And the colors that I used matched the colors on the paper. So the pink is picked raspberry. The green is uh, instead of twisted citron, it is mowed lawn because it didn't, um, it was too, the twisted citron was too light. And then the blue is 
blueprint sketch and then the orange is the crackling campfire and then picked raspberry again. So once I did all of the stamping, I decided we needed a little bit more black. There's a lot of darkness in my photos. So I just did a two line doodly border all the way around. And then I started outlining the actual letters of the words themselves, just so that I had a little bit more definition and pop off of that bright, bright color. Also, I wanted to lean in a little bit more into using the tools and different techniques. So I decided to just clear emboss the OMG just so that it stood out from the pillow forts word a little bit. I really wanted it to pop and uh, it was super shiny when I was done. And then I just added a couple enamel dots and that's it for this layout. So please don't forget to check out the Coast to Coast collaboration playlist. It will be in the description box below. Stick around for the close-ups so you can see how shiny that OMG turned out. And please like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to hear from you.